Amen. Sige po, tayo po ay magumpisa na sa ating gawain at tayo manalangin. Lord God, marami salamat sa panibagong araw na to, Panginoon. Na muli makakarinig kami ng mensahin mo, Panginoon, at nawa. Uh, tumatak sa aming puso't isipan, Ama. At ang lahat ng aming maririnig ay aming gagawin at susundin, Ama. Nang kasama ka sa aming mga buhay. Maraming salamat, O God. Ikaw ang sumama sa aming awitan. Sa lahat ng aming gagawin sa araw na ito, Panginoon. Hayaan mo, Panginoon, na maramdaman ng bawat isa ang presensya mo sa lugar na ito, Lord God. Maraming salamat. Ibinabalik ko lahat ng papulit pa sa salamat. Sa pangalan mo lamang, Jesus. Amen. Amen. At sa oras pong ito ay ating pong purihin ang ating Panginoon Diyos na buhay.
receive with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So shall we all be seated in the presence of uh, our Lord. Isa pong pinagpalang hapon sa ating lahat na naandito at uh, sa mga sumusubaybay sa ating pong uh, live stream broadcast tuwing linggo. And we are in our Sunday afternoon worship service. Muli po kami po ay bumabati ng isang uh, pinagpalang hapon mula dito po sa Pilipinas para po sa inyong lahat na nasa iba't ibang dako ng daigdig. You who are watching in different parts of the world, from the Philippines, we send you our love and uh, greetings sa mga taga Dubai, sa mga taga Kuwait, Australia, Canada, America, Singapore. Wherever you are in the world, we come to you in the presence of the Lord. So, uh, muli tayo po ay mag-aaral ng isang uh, dakilang kapahayagan and I would like you to turn your Bibles in the book of John chapter 6. Okay? So, John chapter 6, 26 to 27. John chapter 6:26 to 27 It says Jesus answered very truly I tell you you are looking for me not because you saw the signs that I have performed but because you ate the loaves of bread and had your fill Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For in Him, God the Father has placed His seal of approval. Amen. Can I ask you a question? Pwede po bang magtanong? Ano ang pinakamahalagang bagay sa iyong buhay? What do you regard as the most important thing in your life that you cannot live without it? It is something that you pursue. It is something that consumes you. It is something that you are chasing all your life. And until you reach that goal, until you pursue that goal, you won't stop. What is that one thing that is the most important in your life right now amen what do you want most in your life what is the first thing that you think in the morning when you wake up itong una-una mong naiisip pag gising mo sa umaga pag tulog mo sa gabi ito ang iniisip mo ito lang ang iniisip mo lagi sapagkat ito ang pinakamahalaga sa buhay mo It is your innermost desire. It is what you are most worried about. You know that it might not come, that it might not be fulfilled in your life. You know it is the one that you are after for in your life, and you will do everything and anything to achieve that. You will do everything and anything to to get what you want in this life. Amen. So, because it is your innermost desire, it is something that you desire from God. Okay? Ito yung iyong prayer request. Ito yung iyong dinidesire sa Panginoon. And so, it is something that consumes you. So, that is my question. If you will look at your life right now, what do you want most? Ano ang gustong-gusto mo? Ano ang gustong-gusto mong marating? Gustong-gusto mong magawa? Gustong-gusto mong ma-achieve sa buhay? And uh, for some Christians, okay, for smart Christians, you know the answer, okay? Baka automatic sabihin po natin, Jesus. Jesus is the one I want most in life, amen? Jesus is the most important thing in my life, amen? So marami po ganun ang declaration. But uh, God bless you if you have that kind of answer. 
Jesus. Okay? What is the most important thing in your life? What do you want most in life? I want Jesus. I want Jesus. Amen? But does your action, does your thoughts, does your decision, does your life prove that? Or does it contradict that declaration that you want Jesus in your life? Because most often in our lives, even if we declare that we love Jesus, we want Jesus the most, we desire, we desire nothing but Jesus in our lives, you know, there are times when we get distracted, we are sidelined, we forget that Jesus is the most important thing in our lives, that you know, we allow competition with Jesus. Inaalaw natin sa buhay natin na merong kum magkompetensya sa pag-ibig natin sa Dios. We allow things to compete with Jesus in our hearts and in our lives. And so many times in our lives, even if we say we love Jesus, we want Jesus in our lives, we do not prove that. Amen? Many times, it is not Jesus that is really the most important in our lives because our thoughts, our deeds, our actions, our choices, our decisions prove otherwise. Amen? And so God wants us to examine our lives. What, it is, what is it that consumes us? What is it that you, we want most in our lives? Amen? Do, do we... Uh, Regard our jobs, yung, yung ating mga trabaho, yung ating mga negosyo, yung ating mga salapi, yung ating mga relasyon na uh, agawin ang ating atensyon sa ating Panginoon. Amen? Our ambitions, our uh, you know relationships, our money, our promotion, our job, our fame, our power, our... Uh, you know, ambitions, you know, we allow these things to come into our hearts that it competes with the Lord Jesus in our lives. Yes, even our families become a competition. Amen? Yung ating mga pamilya ay uh, kala, ka, ka competition mismo ng Diyos sapagkat yun ang gusto ni Satan na mangyari sa atin. Ang ating kakasing mga puso ay uh, malambot. You know, we are so attached. And uh, to whom are we attached the most? To our families, di ba? To our loved ones, yung ating mga mahal sa buhay. Alam ni Satan na kapag ang mga mahal natin sa buhay ang ginamit, we will be, we will be broken. We will give up. Talo tayo. Kasi mas dalas kesa sa hindi, yung ating pong emosyon, yung ating attachment, yung ating... Uh, uh, family ties ay uh, masyadong malakas at ito po ay uh, na, na overcome po nun yung ating uh, paglilingkod sa Diyos. And so, we value these things more than the Lord. Uh, in fact, many people worship these things more than the Lord. Ito po ay kanilang uh, sinasamba na. Hindi nila alam, sinasamba na nila yung mga anak nila, yung mga pamilya nila, yung mga pera nila, yung mga negosyo nila. Sapagkat, pinipili nila yun higit sa Diyos. O, saan sila na, 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 nadarat ng paglinggo? Wala sila sa gawain, di ba? Kasi nasa negosyo sila. Wala sila sa pagsamba, sapagkat nandun sila sa kanilang mga pamilya. Wala sila sa pagsamba, sapagkat nandun sila sa mga pasyalan. Amen? So, wh what do we value most? That, you know, we, when we look at our lives, you know, we can uh, examine our hearts na hindi naman pala talaga si Jesus ang numero uno dyan, kundi yung anak mo, kundi yung pera mo, kundi yung negosyo mo, kundi yung ambition mo, kundi yung boyfriend mo, kundi yung relasyon mo, kundi ang maraming bagay na umaagaw sa atensyon ng Diyos sa buhay natin. So, let us go back to our chapter 6. Ito po ay uh, isa sa mga pinakamahabang chapters sa book of John. John chapter 6 is a very long chapter. It is composed of 71 verses. Okay? And in the first part of John chapter 6, we can see here the miracle of the multiplication of bread. 
the miracle of the multiplication of uh, uh, bread and fish. Nung pong ang mga tao ay sumusunod sa Panginoong Jesus, sila po ay uh, nagutom. There were around 5,000 of them. Limang libo po ang sumusunod sa Panginoon. Nakikinig ng kanyang pangangaral at uh, nawi-witness yung kanyang mga signs, wonders, and miracles na ginagawa. Nagpapagaling po siya. He was healing sick people. He was uh, uh, freeing. He, he was uh, giving freedom and liberty to those who are possessed by demon spirits. And all of these things were seen by so many people. And one time, he was sitting and he was preaching. And then uh, when he finished his preaching, and daming tao, wala po silang kakainin. During that time, it was, uh, uh, it was time to eat. And uh, makikita po natin na yung pong uh, mga alaga, they were so worried, wala silang ipapakain sa kanilang uh, mga tagapakinig. Pero meron pong isang lalaki, bata, at kanya pong ibinigay yung kanyang limang tinapay at dalawang isda. At doon po sa kwento, sa John chapter 6, in the first verses of this chapter, makikita po natin na nakita nila ang himala ng multiplication. That many people, 5,000 of them, were fed from five pieces of loaves of bread and two pieces of fish. Amen? Hindi po maubos-ubos. Pinakain po nila yung limang libo at nagkaroon pa ng maraming sobra, labindalawang basket, twelve baskets of bread were the surplus. Amen? Ganun po ang Panginoon. Pag mag-bless, hindi lang sapat, umaapaw. Ito po ay higit pa sa ating inaasahan. At ganun po yung na, na, naranasan ng mga taong ito. They have witnessed the miracle of multiplication. Sabihin mo nating lahat, multiplication. Ano po yung nagmultiply Bread. Ano po yung nagmultiply Fish. Okay? So, yun po yung uh, first part. And then, doon po sa second part ng, mga, ng chapter na ito ay the miracle of Jesus walking on the water. Because after the people were fed and they were amazed that they have seen a great miracle. Imagine, limang tinapay, napakain niya ang limang libong tao. Dalawang, ti, dalawang isda, napakain niya ang limang libong katao. That, that is a great miracle. Amen? Kaya po yung mga tao ay uh, sinundan po nila ang Panginoong Jesus. They, they went after him. They pursued him because after uh, the preaching and the miracle of the multiplication of the bread, the disciples decided to withdraw and cross to the lake of Galilee. Sila po ay uh, nag-cross. Pero nung pong nag-cross sila, ang nakita po ng mga tao ay uh, mga alagad lang ang sumakay ng bangka. Si Jesus ay hindi po sumakay ng bangka. Amen? So, makikita po natin sa John 6, 22 to 24, sabi doon, the next day, the crowd that had stayed on the opposite shore of the lake realized that only one boat had been there and that Jesus had not entered it with his disciples. Hindi nila nakita si Jesus na sumakay sa boat para mag-cross to the other side of the lake. So they were looking for Jesus. And so, sabi doon, Jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples, but that they had gone away alone. Only the disciples went into the boat. And then some boats from Tiberias landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread. After the Lord had given thanks, once the crowd realized that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into the boat and went to Capernaum and they were searching for Jesus. Nahinahanap nila si Jesus. Sinusundan nila. They were following him. They were pursuing him. Amen? They were looking for him. And so when they did not see him in one place, they went to the other place looking for Jesus. They were following Him. They were searching Him. They were looking for Him. Amen? So, sa John 6, 25, 27, Jesus 
uh, uh, John 6, 25 to 27, sabi doon, when they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Nagtaka sila, nagulat sila, bakit nandito na siya? Eh, why, di nila nakitang sumakay ng, ng, ng boat si Jesus. Pero makikita po natin doon, iyon doon sa miracle of Jesus walking on the water. Pero hindi po talaga kasi yun ang turo ko, okay? Pero uh, I would like you to, kaya siya nakapag-cross doon sa kabila, hindi siya sumakay kasama ng mga alagad, pero nagtaka sila, sabi nila sa 25, Rabbi, when did you get here? We did not see you ride the boat. Hindi ka namin nakita sumakay ng bangka, ang nakita lang namin, mga alagad. Amen? They were trying to find out. Pero ito po yung sagot ni Jesus at ito po ang gusto kong ituro ngayon. Sabi ni Jesus, Truly I say unto you, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs that I performed, but because you ate the loaves of bread and you had your fill. Your stomach were filled. Do not work for the food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on Him, God the Father has placed His seal of approval. Alam niyo po itong gustong gusto ko kay Lord. Kasi hindi siya, nag, hindi siya paikot-ikot, hindi siya paligoy-ligoy. Ang tinatanong sa kanya, Lord, ba't ka nakarating dito? Hindi ka namin sum- nakitang sumakay ng bangka. Hindi sinagot ni Jesus yun. Hindi na niya sinabi, naglakad ako sa, lu- sa tubig. <laughs> naglakad ako sa tubig. I crossed the lake walking on the water. And that would be a greater miracle, di ba? Than the, than the multiplication of the bread. But that is not what is important. Hindi yun ang gustong ipaalam ng Lord. He did not want them to, you know, see another miracle because only the disciples saw Him when He was looking, when He was walking on the water. Napunta po kami sa Sea of Galilee and I, I tell you, grab yung anointing sa Sea of Galilee when we are in the middle of the Sea of Galilee. Nai-imagine ko si Jesus naglalakad sa water. And uh, when I was having that kind of uh, realization, sabi ko, Lord, kung na- nalakad mo nga ito, hindi ka lumubog dito. Yung mga mumunting bagay na dinadala ko, kabigatan ko, kung problema ko sa buhay, kayang-kaya mong solusyonan. Amen? Naglakad ka nga sa tubig eh. Sino gumagawa nun? Who does that? Who walks on the water? Jesus did. But that's not what's important. Because Jesus said, Why are you looking for me? Amen? Hindi niya sinabi, Naglakad ako sa tubig. Oh, another miracle yun. Di ba? Pero hindi kasi yun eh. Hindi yun ang kailangan ng mga taong ito. Jesus was dealing with these people. He, they, he was interacting with these people. Because Jesus knew that there is something in the hearts of these people. Why are you following me? Why are we following Jesus? Maybe we have so many different reasons. Pag tinanong ko, why do we follow Jesus? Bakit natin sinusundan? Bakit natin pinaglilingkuran si Jesus? Bakit? Amen? And these people, they were following Jesus because Jesus said, you are following me not because you have seen the miracles and the signs. Even if I tell you right now that I came here because I walked on the water, That's not what you want. Amen? You wanted the bread. You wanted the bread. Now, in our time, bread is not a problem. Everything is accessible in our time. Food is not a problem, so to speak. Everything is available, accessible, in abundance. Amen? Lalo na ngayon, mag-order ka lang, darating na right at your doorstep. It's very convenient. But it's different during the time of Jesus. Food was not in abundance. Food was very scarce. So that's why when they were hungry, the, the disciples were actually very worried. Where are we going to get food? These are 5,000 people. How can we feed them? There's no caterer. There's no fast food. Nobody cooked for this 5,000. How? How? Amen. We worry, the, the disciples worried about food so much. The, disciple, the disciples worried about, you know, what would fill the stomachs of these people. Amen. It is not bad to worry about food. Amen. But if you worry so much that it takes away your attention 
from the producer of food, from the giver of food, that is the problem. Amen? And so likewise, the Lord was probing, P-R-O-B-I-N-G, pinoprobe, parang uh, uh, pinoprobe, tinetesting po yung uh, puso ng mga taong ito because they were following Jesus. Si Jesus nagsabi ha, kaya kayo sumusunod sa akin kasi napuno at nabusog kayo. Gusto nyo pa. You want some more. Amen? And so, they follow Jesus not because they love Jesus, not because they, they want to serve Jesus, not because, uh, uh, because they, want to, they want Jesus for who He is, but they are following Jesus because they were able to satisfy their hunger. They were able to eat bread. So Jesus knew that these people are after the bread. Amen. Amen? Masakit, di ba? Pero si Jesus, hindi po siya nagpatumpik-tumpik. Sabi niya, sumusunod lang kayo eh, sapagkat kahapon, nabusog kayo. Kumain kayo ng tinapay, sumobra pa. Amen? At magkaminsan po sa buhay natin, meron po tayong mga tinapay. We all have some kind of bread that we are after in life. We are, as I said, we are in pursuit of this. We will do anything and everything to get this. Amen? Amen. Hahanapin natin. In the disguise of parang si Jesus yung hinahanap natin. Pero ang totoo, yung tinapay. Amen? At may dala akong tinapay. Amen? The bread. Amen. Pasensya na kayo, teacher, kasi ako eh. I would like to illustrate that in our lives, we have different kinds of bread that we are after for, that we seek, we pursue, and it consumes us. That desire for that bread consumes us. And what is that? It could be your job, as I said. It could be your money. It could be your business. It could be your family, your children. Sometimes we love our children more than God. Amen? Sometimes we love our families more than our Lord. Sometimes we cannot leave them. But the Bible says, whoever loves his father, his mother, his children more than me is not worthy to be my disciple. Amen? Hindi raw po karapat dapat maging alagad ang sino mang nagmahal sa kanyang anak Asawa, mga kapatid, tatay at nanay. Hindi raw po karapat dapat maging alagad ng Panginoon. And so in our lives, we have our different kinds of bread that we love and pursue this more than Jesus Himself. Hinanap po nila yung tinapay, hindi po yung tagapagbigay ng tinapay. Sapagkat ano gusto nilang mabusog. Which is understandable because during that time, there was a scarcity of food. Nagkakaroon ng kagutuman. At so they were after the bread. They were after the bread. So sa buhay mo, what is your bread? Amen? Na pinagpapalit mo ang Panginoon sa tinapay na ito. Mas mahal mo ang tinapay na ito kaysa mismong sa Panginoon na nagbigay nito. At sabi ko nga, it could be what? Power, fame, title? It could be your, your health, your, your success, your ambition, your desires, your family. When Hannah was given the desire of her heart in the Old Testament, she prayed for a son. She was taunted by people because she did not have a son. And so every day, she went to the temple and prayed. She was crying to God, asking for a son. And she said, Lord, if you, can, if you will give me a son, I will offer him up to you. I will give him up to you in the service of your ministry. That's what Hannah promised. So when God granted the desire of Hannah's heart, She was able to fulfill that promise. Amen? Ito po ay nang, nangyari, nagawa. Ito po ay 
tinupad niya. Tinupad po niya. Ibinigay po niya yung kanyang anak sa Panginoon. Amen? Ibinigay po ni Hana yung kanyang anak sa Panginoon. And likewise, sa buhay po natin, kapag tayo po ay uh, merong hinihingi sa Diyos, lahat ng klaseng pangako may bibigay natin sa Lord, di ba? Lord, if you will grant me this prayer request, I will be a good person. Lord, if you will grant me this prayer request, I will donate to charity. Lord, if you will grant me this prayer request, I will not be absent in church every Sunday. Lahat po ng mga pangako ay pinapangako natin when we are asking something from the Lord. But most of us, kapag nangyari at naganap na, we forget about our promises. Amen? And then we choose. At ang pinipili natin, hindi po yung kalooban ng Diyos. Amen? We forsake the will of God in our lives. And we do our own selfish will. At sa mga tao pong sumusunod sa Panginoon, Jesus Christ was probing their motives. Jesus Christ was probing their hearts. Why are you following me? Why are you following me? At sinabi ng G- ni Lord sa kanila, you are following me because of the bread. You are following me because you were f- your, your stomach were filled. You were satisfied. Amen? At pag tayo po ay dinidil ng Panginoon, yung mga motives natin, ina-expose ng Panginoon. Amen? Nagagalit po tayo sa halip po na magpatuwid tayo. Pag sinasabi ng Lord, kaya ka naglilingkod kasi ang motibo mo ay pera. Kaya ka naglilingkod kasi ang motibo mo ay akiti ng mga tupa. Kaya ka naglilingkod sapagkat ikaw ay uh, may ibang agenda. When God exposes us, nagagalit po tayo. Pero hindi po pwedeng hindi tayo i-deal ng Diyos. Kagaya ng mga taong ito. Amen? Ang ganda ng nangyari, di ba? Katatapos lang ng Himala. Pagkatapos nun, nirebuke sila ng Panginoon. Walang paligoy-ligoy. Bakit kayo sumusunod sa akin? Naglakad kayo ng sampung kilometro para ano? Para makita nyo ba talaga ako? Hindi ako ang inahanap nyo. Yung tinapay. Kasi baka gumawa uli ako ng multiplication ng bread. Makakuha uli kayo ng tinapay. And many of us, amen, sometimes are like that. We follow the Lord because we know there is blessing. Amen. Hindi ko sinasabing hindi tayo ibe-bless ng Lord pag finalo natin siya. Pero ang sinasabi ng Lord, You don't follow me because I will give you bread. You follow me because I am the bread of life. Ako mismo ang i-desire mo. Not the blessing. Not the multiplication. Not the fish. Not the miracle. Not the signs. You desire me. You seek me. You follow me. Not because... Not because I bless you, not because I give you, not because I grant your prayer request. Amen? Nakakaunawaan po ba tayo? I am just, you know, you know pushing uh, every one of us to uh, uh, notch higher in our, in our service to the Lord. Sapagkat sa Proverbs 21 verse 2, sabi po doon, Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who weighs the heart. Sa tingin ng tao, tama ang puso niya. Di po ba? Tama. Tama po ba yun? Sa ting- pag tayo tumitingin sa sarili natin, tama tayo. Pero ang Diyos po, ang nagpuprobe ng heart, it is the Lord who weighs the heart. Proverbs 21 verse 2. Amen? In the eyes of man, we are right in our own eyes. Tama ang desisyon natin. Tama ang ginagawa natin. Amen? Pinaglalaban pa natin to, Amen? Uh, Ini, pinagpipilitan po natin na tayo po ang tama. Amen? Oh, sorry. Sana wala ng takip. Eh, anyway. So, yun po yung ginagawa natin. Amen? We often do the same thing. We follow the Lord because we have our own reasons and our agenda. Pero hindi po yun. May it be na bago po mahuli ang lahat. Amen? Yung puso po natin ay uh, 
maayos sa harapan ng Panginoon. Let it be that our hearts, our motives, will be right before the sight of God. Kaya po kahit masakit, sinasabihan po tayo ng Panginoon, kaya mo lang naman ako sinusunod. Kaya mo lang naman ako pinaglilingkuran. Kaya mo naman lang ako sinasabing mahal mo ako dahil uh, may binibigay ako sa iyo. Pero paano kung wala na? Amen? Paano kung wala na? Kagaya po ng isang, uh, ng isang anak. Kapag ang isang anak, sinabi niya sa tatay niya, Tay, bilhin mo ako ng laruan. Father, please buy me a toy. And then, uh, pag hindi siya nabilhan ng tatay niya, anong sasabihin ng anak niya? Pag hindi mo ako nabilhan ng, uh, ng, uh, ng, ng, ng laruan, uh, pagkalimutan na tayo. Hindi na kita tatay, hindi mo na ako anak. Pwede ba yon? Ha? Hindi pwede yun, di ba? That, that is not a healthy relationship. When you ask something from your father, and uh, he, when you ask a toy from your father, at hindi po niya ikaw na bilhan, anong gagawin mo? Magagalit ka sa tatay mo? Hindi, di ba? Dapat hindi. Kasi kahit ano pang mangyari, tatay mo pa rin siya. Kaya mabilan ka niya o hindi. Pero marami po sa atin, hindi ganun, di ba? Kapag tayo po ay... Uh, nagpabili ay nagpabili sa Panginoon o meron tayong hiningi sa Diyos at hindi po nangyari nagtatampo tayo sa Lord amen dahil nagtatampo tayo lumilihis tayo tumatalikod tayo tumatakbo tayo tinatalikuran natin yung ating pananampalataya yung ating paglilingkod yung ating calling bakit kasi hindi na pagbigyan kasi na deal kasi na expose ang ating mga puso na hindi pala natin kayang ibigay ang lahat para sa Lord. Amen? Now, nagkakaunawan po ba tayo? So, what is your bread? What, what is it that you value most that you pursue in your life more than the Lord? Ano ang tinapay sa buhay mo ngayon na pinapahalagahan mo ng higit sa iyong uh, Panginoon? So, I don't know what that is, but may it be that the Lord will speak to us and that God will probe our hearts and our motives so that it could be purified and it could be fixed in the sight of God. Okay, so uh, th those are... Sa, oh, balik ako doon sa, ano, doon sa, ex, sa aking uh, illustration kanina. Halimbawa, meron kang boyfriend or may, meron kang girlfriend o meron kang asawa. Tapos sabi, sinabi mo sa kanya, bili mo ako ng sapatos, bili mo ako ng damit, bili mo ako ng uh, singsing, alahas, kwintas. Okay. Pag, hindi, pag hindi mo ako binilhan, hiwalay na tayo. Pwede mo bang gawin yon? Hindi, di ba? You don't do that. In the same manner that God wants to have a relationship with us. And that relationship should not just be based on blessing. Should not just be based when things are going nice and easy and okay. So that when things get rough in our lives, eh hindi na po natin mahalang Lord. Hindi na po natin siya susundin. Hindi na po natin siya paglilingkuran. Amen? God wants us to have a nurturing relationship that is based on, on love, that is based on worship, that is based on who He is, not based on what He gives us, not based on what He can do for us, So that when He does not do it for us, tayo po ay nagtatampo, tayo po ay nagagalit, tayo po ay tumatalikod at nawawala sa paglilingkod. Nakakalungkot po iyon. Amen? So we, we forget that. So, so ituloy po natin sa John chapter 6, verse 28 to 31. And then they said to Him, katatap, sinabi na ng Lord yun ha, sa John 20, uh, 6, 26, ang sabi po ng Panginoon, You just uh, follow me because of the loaves that you have uh, been filled yesterday. And then at verse 28, sabi nila, they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who has sent you, who has sent him. So they said to him, Then what sign do you do that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven 
to eat. Okay? It's the same people. Pagkatapos silang sabihan ng Lord, you are just following me because of the bread. Not because you want me. Not because you love me. Not because you want to worship me. It's the bread. Amen? Sabi, tapos sabi po ng mga tao, what must we do to be, to do the works of God? And then sabi, niya, sabi po nila sa verse uh, 29b, uh, 30, sabi nila, what sign do you do? Ano ang mga tanda? Hello, 24 hours, kahapon lang, gumawa siya ng sign, nag-multiply siya ng limang tinapay. 24 hours ago, gumawa ng dakilang bagay ang Diyos, nagpakain ng limang libo mula sa limang tinapay. Tapos ngayon tinatanong siya, what sign do you do? What sign do you do? Hello? Ganyan po kasi tayo magkaminsan. Meron po tayong dementia. We forget the goodness of God. You forget that one time, one point in your life, ni rescue ka niya. Pinagpala ka niya, pinagaling ka niya, ginawan ka niya ng himala, blindness ka niya. And then you cannot have trust, you cannot have faith. Amen? Hindi po tayo magkaroon ng pananampalataya. Jesus just performed a miracle 24 hours ago. Yesterday, on the other side of the lake, He fed 5,000 people and now you are asking for a sign? Amen? Or maybe, baka, baka sinasabi lang nila yung para itrick nila si Jesus. Sabihin, uh, Jesus, can you do a sign? What sign do you do? Siguro gusto nila gumawa uli si Jesus ng Himala to multiply bread. Kasi nga gusto nila yung bread. Minsan sa buhay natin, when we are praying for something, we manipulate the Lord. We trick the Lord. Yung nga sabi ko kanina, Lord, if you will bless me, I will give my tithes. Lord, if you will bless me, hindi ako mag absent Every Sunday, dadalo ako. Lord, if you will bless me with a child, uh, maglilingkod pa ako lalo. Amen? Pero nang dumating yung blessing, na wala. Amen? Yung mga pangakong yun, inaabando na po natin yung mga promises na yun. And so, what do we do? We desire or we pray for something trying to trick the Lord to give it to us. Yung nga sabi ko kanina, uh, but the Lord is not interested in that. Amen? The Lord is interested in our hearts. That's why hindi siya lumalayo doon. Sinasabi ng Panginoon, you know, this is the work of God that you believe. Amen? But these people do not believe. In fact, they were still asking for more signs. They said, what sign do you do that we may see and believe you? Hello? Verse 30. What sign do you do that we may see and believe you? 24, 24 hours ago, nakita nila yun eh. They have seen the miracle of multiplication. And now they still don't believe. Gusto pa nila ng sign. What sign do you do that we may see and believe? What work do you perform? They have seen God perform miracles. Jesus performed numerous miracles. But they are just so lacking of in faith. Or they are just so manipulative that kala nila pwede nilang diktahan ng Panginoon. Amen? Gusto nila mag, mag gumawa ulit ng miracle ng Panginoon. Amen? So, the, the, Jesus was dealing with these people just like He is dealing with us because God sees through us. He knows our motives. He, he knows our desires. He knows our agenda. Alam niya po yung agenda natin. Hindi po pwedeng mailihim. So, ang number one, ang dinil niya sa kanila yung mga, yung mga puso nila. Ano ba yung hawak, hanap nila? Ano ba yung pinupurso nila? Bakit nila sinusundan si Jesus? Amen? Dahil ba gusto nilang sambahin si Jesus? Dahil ba gusto nilang uh, purihin si Jesus? Dahil ba gusto nilang uh, makasama si Jesus? Sinabi ng, ni Jesus ang, puso, ang laman ng puso nila, sinusundan niyo ako kasi gusto niyo yung tinapay. You were filled. You, 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 were, uh, you were satisfied. The loaves of bread have satisfied you. John 6. 26. And then, aside from probing the motives of their hearts, number two, Jesus was exposing their lack of faith. 
that even if they have seen many numerous miracles, ganun pa rin ang tanong nila, what sign do you do? What have you performed? Let us see that we may believe. Hello? Ganun po tayo eh. To see is to believe. Pag hindi po natin nakita, hindi po tayo makapanampalataya. Pag wala po tayong nakikita, hirap po tayong maniwala. We cannot believe. And so we ask for signs. We ask for God to perform miracles. Amen? I am not saying that God does not perform miracles. He delights to do this. But before He does that, He wants to fix your heart. He wants to purify your motives. He wants to purify your desires. Amen? Are you here because of the miracle? Or are you here because you love me? Andito ka ba? Sapagat nakakita ka ng Himala, andito ka ba dahil gusto mong gumaling? Andito ka ba dahil gusto mong maging malusog? Andito ka ba dahil gusto mong yumaman? Andito ka ba dahil gusto mong magkaanak? Andito ka ba dahil gusto mong magkaasawa? What is your motive? Amen? If all of these things, these are all bread. Amen? Lahat po yun ay bread. And God wants to fix that if that is your motive. If your motive in following the Lord is because of bread, then God will rebuke you even right now. Amen? And that's what he did with these people who were following him. Multitudes were following him. And he did not uh, circumvent and dilly-dally, but he dealt with them. Amen? Kanya pong uh, sinabi kung ano talaga ang laman ng mga puso nila. Likewise, sa buhay po natin. Amen? Uh, let me just uh, read that. John 6, uh, 28. Sabi po doon, Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread of heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And they, so, they said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Amen? So, sabi ng Panginoon sa kanila, Si Moses, nung panahon ng mga sa Old Testament, binigyan sila ng mana mula sa langit. Amen? Sinabi ng Panginoon, kinote ng Panginoon yun, Moses uh, gave bread from heaven, but the Father gives you the true bread from heaven. The bread of God who came down from heaven and gave His life to the world. Amen? Minsan yung mga tinapay na gusto natin, putso-putso, yung mga maliliit na bagay. We, we settle for less. We do not realize that there is this great bread, the, great, the greatest bread that God is offering us, and that is His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Pero we are settled na. Masaya na tayo doon sa malilit na mga tinapay, na mga pandesal sa buhay natin. Amen? Hindi natin alam na mayroong mas dakilang bagay na nakalaan ng Panginoon sa atin na ibinigay niya mismo kanyang bugtong na anak na si Jesus upang mamatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo at siyang tinapay ng buhay na sino man daw ang kumain sa tinapay na ito hindi na magugutom pa. Kailangan mo ba ng Himala? Huwag mong iporso ang Himala. Iporso mo ang tagapagbigay ng Himala. Si Jesus, Jesus Christ Himself, The miracle worker. Do not pursue the miracle. Pursue the miracle worker. Jesus himself. And in our lives, we do that. You know, we are after the not so important things. We desire the trivial things. Amen. We pursue these not so important things. Things that are temporary. Things that are corruptible. Things that are napapanis. Things that are spoiled and corrupted and dest destroyed. Amen? Like this. Amen? Ang buhay lang nito ay ano? 24 hours? After that, magkakaroon na siya ng mold. And you cannot eat it. Bibigay mo na lang sa ibon o sa, sa hayop. It does not last. Amen? And that is what we desire in our lives. We desire things that do not last. We desire things that are temporary. Amen? We are satisfied with the relationship that we have, kahit na alam natin bawal, sapagkat ikaw ay kasal, at ang iyong kinakasama ay kasal din, 
or whatever immoral relationship we have. We are satisfied, we are happy with this temporary immoral relationship that we have that we undermine the most important thing and that is the bread of life, Jesus Christ himself. Naunawaan ho ba natin? I'm sorry if I am saying these things, but I have to because Jesus Christ, ne, hindi po siya nag-back down when he dealt these people. Sinabi niya, ang motibo niyo ay tinapay, hindi ako. Hindi ako hinahanap niyo, hindi ako hinahabol niyo. Sapagkat kayo nakatikim ng tinapay at nabusog kayo at yun ang gusto niyo. Amen? At marami po ganun. Sinasabi nilang mga kristyano sila, pero mas mahal nilang chant nila, mas mahal nilang pera kaysa sa Diyos. Mas mahal nilang mga bagay at mga tao kaysa sa Diyos. At kaya nilang ipagpalit ang Diyos. Ngayon pa, kung kailan marapit nang dumating ang Panginoon. And it just, you know, it just bothers me. And yung puso ko po ay nadudurog. When I see people na ipinagpapalit nila sa tinapay ang Panginoon. Tinapay na nasisira. Tinapay na napapanis. Tinapay na nawawala pinapagpalit nila ang Panginoon. Amen? Sa mga ambisyon nila, sa mga pagmamahal nila sa pera, sa pagmamahal nila sa sarili, sa pagmamahal nila sa maraming bagay o maraming tao higit sa Diyos. And God wants to, motive, to, to purify those motives and hearts. That's why He's dealing with us. That's why He said, You are settling for the not so important things, for the things that are destroyed, less important. You are settling, masaya ka na sa mga bagay na napapanis, nasisira, nawawala, nadudurog, namamatay, hindi nagtatagal. Pinagpapalit po natin ang Panginoon sa mga bagay na ito. And Jesus Christ is eternal. but may pagpapalit si Jesus Christ? Amen! Ba't may pagpapalit si Jesus Christ sa kabit mo? Ba't may pagpapalit si Jesus Christ sa negosyo mo, sa pera mo, sa ambisyon mo? Ba't may pagpapalit si Jesus Christ? Amen? He is of greater value because Jesus Christ is what? Incorruptible, eternal. And He said, whoever comes to me will never ever be hungry. Amen? Masaya na tayo sa isang pirasong tinapay that will last only for a day. But if we have the bread of life, Jesus Christ, it will last for eternity and it will, we will never go hungry. And so, go on. Magpakasaya ka. Amen? Ayaw mo magpaturo. Patuloy mo nga, patuloy mong pinapaglaban ng iyong maling relasyon. Patuloy mong pinapaglaban ng iyong maling desisyon. So, go on. Amen? But someday, I tell you, beloved, you will fail. Because unless you have the bread of life, unless you have Jesus in your life, you will never succeed. Never, ever, 100%. Hindi ka magtatagumpay. Gawin mo na ang lahat. Magmalaki ka na. Amen? Pumamayagpag ka na. At sabihin mong, Tama itong ginawa ko. Tama itong desisyon ko. Walang makakapagturo sa akin. Then go on. But the Lord is saying, Jesus said in 35 of John chapter 6, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall never be hungry. And whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Amen? Uhaw na uhaw tayo sa pagmamahal, uhaw na uhaw tayo sa atensyon, uhaw na uhaw tayo sa pananalapi, uhaw na uhaw tayo sa maraming bagay. At hinahanap po natin ito sa maraming tao, maraming lugar, maraming mga pangyayari at kaganapan ng buhay. We seek what we are longing for in so many places, in so many people, and many times we seek them in the wrong people and in the wrong places na napapahamak po tayo and then we fall into sin and then we are broken and destroyed and I pray po na hindi po mangyari yan because if there is a time that you know we, we should be uh, 
We should be so focused on our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the time. Oh, hindi po ngayon ang panahon ng pagbabackslide, panlalamig, pagtatampo, pagkagalit, sama ng loob, hinanakit. This is not the time. Jesus is saying, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall never hunger. Amen. So you are looking for attention, seeking for love, seeking for uh, care in the wrong people. And in the wrong places. And the Lord is saying, Anak, ako ang kailangan mo. Ako ang tinapay ng buhay. Pag kinain mo ako, I mean, pag tinanggap mo ako sa puso mo, hindi ka na magugutom pa. Hindi ka na maghahanap pa. I will satisfy you. I will bless you. Amen? That is what the Lord is promising. But many of us are contented with the lesser things. We settle for the lesser things. We settle for this. Amen? We settle for this. What is this? It could be spoiled. Napapanis. Nawawala. Ito ay simbolo ng lahat ng bagay na inaatupag natin, na ating uh, pinagkakaabalahan, na ating pinagbubuhusan ng panahon, isip, at uh, atensyon. Higit sa Panginoon. At itong lahat ay mawawala. Ito ay may temporaring buhay. But the Lord is saying in John 6.35, I am the bread of life. Seek me. Ako ang kainin mo, which means ako ang tanggapin mo sa puso mo, sa buhay mo, sa isip mo. I am. Because whoever believes in me will never be hungry. Amen? Ayaw mo ba nun? Hindi ka na, makukontento ka na sa buhay, kundi hindi ka na maghahanap sa mga maling tao at mga maling lugar. Verse 36 of John chapter 6, But I told you, you have seen me, but still you do not believe. Yun po yung sinasabi ng Panginoon sa mga taong to. And all those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up to the last day. Verse 40, For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up the last day. Si Jesus Christ po mismo, kung titignan niyo po ito, red letter, because it is coming from the mouth of the Lord Himself. Ano pong sinasabi niya? I am the bread of life. It is a metaphor. Iniyahalin tulad niya yung kanyang sarili sa tinapay. Siya raw po ang tinapay ng buhay. Ano bang tinapay? Tinapay is life. Amen? Food is life. We can never survive without food. We need food. Amen. Kailangan natin kumain. Kung hindi, manghihina tayo. Kung hindi, mamamatay tayo. So food is life. And bread is food. Food is life. And who is that food? Who is that bread in our lives? It is Jesus. Because He said, if we, if we accept Him as our own bread of life, we will never be hungry. Amen. We will never be hungry. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Hindi ka magkukulang. Hindi ka na maghahanap pa. You will be full. You will be satisfied. Whatever it is. Amen. Whatever area of your life. Amen. In your, in your mind, in your emotions and feelings, in your uh, physical body, sa iyong uh, pangangatawan. Kasama po lahat yun. Yun ang pangako ng Panginoon. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not be hungry. Amen? So as I said a while ago, Jesus did not say, uh, come and follow me and I will give you bread. Instead, Jesus is saying, come follow me because I am the bread. I am your bread. And if you come to me and follow me, I will satisfy you. I will fill you that you will never, ever be hungry. Amen? So we are hungry for a lot of things. We are hungry for fame, hungry for honor, hungry for relationship. We are hungry for attention. Tayo po ay nauuhaw sa maraming bagay. We are hungry for drugs, alcohol, gambling, whatever that satisfies the flesh. 
Amen? Tayo po ay nagugutom, naguguhaw doon at hinahanap natin ang kutugunan ng mga kauhawang yon. We seek for the satisfaction of those longings in our hearts as I said, in things that the world offers. Amen? So, if you are if you are hungry for alcohol, umiinom ka ng alak. If you are hungry for drugs, nagtetake ka ng shabu. If you are hungry for fame and power, pumupunta ka sa politika para magkaroon ka ng kapangyarihan. If you are hungry for money, you do everything to get that money. Amen? But still, in the end, you find yourself empty. Still, in the end, nasa iyo ng lahat, you find yourself unhappy. Why? Because you missed the most important thing. And that is Jesus, the true bread of life. It is only you, Him who can satisfy. It is only Him who can give you that, you know, that, that desire in your heart that, that, that can feel in your heart. Amen po ba? So, the Lord is saying, if, if you accept me as the bread of life, you will never go hungry and I will satisfy you and I will fill you. Amen? And so, being happy, look at those people who are very rich and very wealthy and they have like billions of money, but still they end up committing suicide. Still they end up miserable. Still they end up in divorce. Still they end up, you know, unhappy. Why? Because it is not money that satisfies. It is not wealth or fame or power that satisfy, but it is only the Lord Jesus who can feel that emptiness and void in our hearts. Amen? And many people do not realize that, and so they continue to pursue and seek these temporal things, this, this bread that spoils this bread that has temporary life, you know, 24 hours. After that, it gets mold and uh, you, you can never appreciate the taste of it. Amen? So, ituloy po natin sa John 6, 41. After Jesus Christ was saying all these things, you know, I'm the bread of life, whoever comes to me, as I told you, you know, Yun po yung mga sinasabi ng Panginoon. Ano pong naging response ng mga tao? Sa 41, John 6, 41. John 6, 41, it said, So, the Jews grumbled about Him. Ang daming sinasabi. The Jews grumbled about Him because He said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he say that he came down from heaven? Amen. Balik na naman sila. Sabi niya, ano pa sinasabi nito na nagsiraw ay nagmula sa langit? E di ba anak to ni Jose? At ni Maria? Nagmula sa Nazareth? Ano sinasabi nito na nagmula siya sa langit? That's how short-sighted they are. They have seen the miracles. They have eaten the bread. And now, they're back to square one. Doubting Jesus. Not believing Jesus, grumbling and complaining about Jesus. Ano po sa Tagalog po yan? Ano po? Ano po sabi sa 40? Okay. Okay, nagbulong-bulungan. Ang ganda nun na, nagbulong-bulungan ng mga Hudyo dahil sa sinabi niya. Amen? Kapag ba'y sinasabi ang, G sa Lord, ang Lord sa atin, sa halip na makinig tayo at sabihin natin, Yes, Lord, bulong-bulungan. Amen? At ang masawa nito, hindi ka lang bumubulong sa sarili mo, binubulungan mo pa. Yung asawa mo, binubulungan mo pa. Yung biyanan mo, binubulungan mo pa. Yung anak mo, binubulungan mo pa ang buong pamilya mo. Gusto mo silang kasama mong mag-backslide. Ayaw mong ikaw lang magsasama ka pa. Ano bang pinagsasabi nito? Huwag tayong maniwala dyan. Amen? Pero kahapon lang, tuwan-tuwa sila, nakakain sila. Tuwan-tuwa sila, nakawit na sila ng himala. Ganun po tayo, ganun tayo karupok. Amen? Mainit tayo ngayon. Talagang ondago tayo ngayon. Bukas, parang, anang, parang ano, nabuhusan ng malakas na ulan. Yung kanina, Amen? Malamig ka na. Malamig ka pa sa ano. 
Wala na. Ano nangyari kay sister? Ang init niyan kahapon na. Ba't ngayon malamig na? Ano nangyari kay sister? Talagang on the go yan ah. Kung makasigaw yan. Ano nangyari kay brother? Talagang kung makapag-preach yan, akala mo, ano ah, walang, walang makakapigil. Eh, ano nangyari? Ba't nag-backslide na? Amen? So we grumble. Instead of we listen to what the Lord is saying, we grumble. And, and that is the problem. The attitude. Amen? Yung ating pong attitude. Sa halip na tayo po ay makinig sa Panginoon, tayo po ay nagre-reklamo. Marami po tayong mga bulong-bulong. Ganda nung version ng Tagalog pala. At, ang, at sila'y nagbulong-bulungan. Amen? Kaya kapag merong bumubulong sa'yo, <laughs> wag mong papakinggan. Amen? Bahala ka sa buhay mo. Basta ako tuloy kay Lord. Amen? Basta wala, walang, ano, walang kapakapatid, walang uh, tatay-tatay, nanay-nanay pagdating sa Lord. Amen? Why? Kasi ang salvation is an individual personal decision. Amen? It is your personal decision. It is not your sister. It's not your brother. It's not your father's decision. It is yours. So kung lahat ay nawawala na at ikaw na lang nagpapatuloy, manatili ka. Magpakatatag ka. Huwag mong papakinggan ang bulong-bulong. Amen? Sapagkat at one point or the other, this is a reality. I've been in the ministry for what? Almost 30 years? I've seen people come and go. Amen? At kung ako'y nagpa, nagpa, amen, naniwalas at nakinig sa mga bulong-bulong nila, baka sama-sama na kaming nawala sa Lord. Kung ako'y naniwala sa bulong-bulong nila. Amen? And I tell you, beloved, gusto niyo ng prophecy? In, dahil malapit lang dumating ang Lord, yung bulong-bulong na yan, hindi lang bulong, lalakas pa yan. Lalakas pa yan. Amen? Hindi ka lang bubulungan, kundi talagang sisigawan ka para sabihin, tumigil ka na. Huwag ka nang magpatuloy. Do not serve the Lord. Do not follow Jesus. Do not do His will. Dito na tayo, sama-sama tayo. Kagaya ng mga hudyong ito. Amen? These Jews, instead of listening to the Lord, saying, I am the bread of life, what did they do? They grumbled. They did not believe. They said, sino ba to? Di ba taga, ano lang to, Nazareth? Anak ni Jose, anak ni Maria. This, why is he saying that he comes from heaven? But Jesus Christ is the bread of life. He was the Son of God incarnate. He made Himself a man. For what? To save us from our sins. To hang on the cross. To die and pay for the penalty of our sins. So that whatever we need now in our lives, when we need healing, when we need blessing, when we need food, when we need clothes, whatever we need from Him, it could be given and granted. Because he already paid for it. Amen? But the Jews, may kaminsan, marami po sa atin kagaya ng mga Jews. They were arguing. Sabi po doon, okay, tuloy natin. They were grumbling among themselves when Jesus Christ said, I am the bread of life. And uh, he said, ituloy po natin. Sa verse 43, sabi ni Jesus, stop grumbling. Tigil mo yung pagbulong-bulong nyo. Okay. Sabi ni Jesus, stop grumbling among yourselves. Jesus answered, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them and I will raise them up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the Father and learned from Him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only He has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Jesus Christ. Pa- paulit-ulit yung sinasabi. Verse 48. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. Verse 51. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Amen? 
Verse 52, and then the Jews, they began to argue among themselves. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Amen? Hindi po nila nauunawaan. Hindi may pinaparating ang Diyos sa kanilang malalim, dakila. It is a very deep, profound truth that the Lord wants them to know. But they cannot. Hindi nila maabot. Hindi nila maatim. Hindi nila maunawaan. Why? Because they are living in the flesh of, in the realm of the flesh. They are living in the realm of the flesh. Ito pa rin, ito pa rin, ito pa rin kasi ang nag-occupy ng kanilang puso't isipan. Tinapay, laman, flesh, temporary. Whereas God is pulling them up and letting them see the things of the Spirit which are, you know, grand. Ito po yung mas dakila, mas importante, mas mahalaga. Pero bakit hindi po nila maunawaan? Bagko sila po yung nag-aaway-aaway, nag-aargue. They could not understand. Why? Because they are living in the flesh. They do not understand because they are in the flesh. And if you are living in the realm of the flesh, you will never understand the will of God. You will never understand the perfect will of God. And so instead of doing the will of God, you rebel against the will of God. Sa halip na ginagawa mo ang kalooban ng Diyos, tinatalikuran mo sapagkat ayaw mong unawain sapagkat pinapairal mo ang laman mo. Ang Panginoon ay nagsasalita, I am the bread of life. Ang pagkakaunawa nila, tinapay. Paano naging tinapay ito? Paano natin kakainin ang laman nito? Hello? Jesus was speaking an analogy. He was comparing himself to the bread. Just like the bread is a source of life because it is food, Jesus Christ is the source of life. Na kung meron kang hinahanap sa buhay mo, siya lang, sapat na. Siya lang, ganap na. Kailangan mo ba ng himala? Kailangan mo si Jesus? Kailangan mo ba ng pagpapala? Si Jesus, ang katugunan mo. Kailangan mo ba ng kalakasan kasi mahina ka na? Kailangan mo ba sometimes, you know, paggising mo sa umaga, di ba parang every parang nap, ano? Sometimes you feel that way. There are times and days when you wake, wake up in the morning, it seems like you you woke up on the wrong side of the bed and that it seems like the the world is crumbling down on you. That you're suffocated, you cannot breathe, you feel like dying. You're so weak to move on, to go on, that you feel like giving up. And the Lord is saying, Anak, I am the bread of life. You need me, you accept me, and you will never go hungry. You will never lack anything. Amen? That's what the Lord wants us to realize. But these Jews, they are fighting and arguing among themselves because they could not understand. Why? As I said, because they are in the flesh. They are living in the flesh. And we, God wants us to, to go up in our spirituality that we, we understand the profound truth that God wants us to realize. And, you know, the bread of life is one of those. Amen? Sapagkat kapag, kapag ikaw ay nabubuhay sa laman, ang tingin mo kay Jesus, tinapay nga, nakakainin. Kaya ganoon nga ginagawa ng mga ibang relihiyon. Sabi niya, ako ang tinapay ng buhay. Kinakain nila yung tinapay. Kasi raw nagiging si Jesus yung tinapay. That's transubstantiation. Mali rin po naman iyon. Magiging cannibal naman tayo noon. Itong mga to, tingin nila, gusto ni Jesus, maging cannibal sila. Sabi nila doon sa 52, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Amen? Sabi po ng mga taong ito, paano natin kakainin yung, yung laman nito? Ano tayo, cannibal? They were grumbling. They were complaining. They could not understand because they did not get what they wanted from Jesus. Bakit sila ganito? Kasi hindi nila nakuha yung gusto nila kay Jesus. Hindi na si Jesus gumawa ng himala ng tinapay eh. Amen? Bagko sinasabi nila, ito ang tinapay ng buhay, itong kainin nyo. Saan? Gusto nila yung nakikita nila. Gusto nila yung nalalasahan nila. Gusto nila yung kinakain nila. Kagaya nito. Amen? Kagaya ng drugs. Kagaya ng alkohol. Amen? Kagaya ng babae, lalaki. Amen? Pakikipagrelasyon ng hindi tama. Natitikman nila. Ganun ang gusto nila. Nabubuhay sa laman. Pero anumang nabubuhay sa laman ay isang araw, 
it will be corrupted. It will be destroyed. Amen? Because only the things that are eternal will last forever. And so when we follow God, amen, we should realize these things. Amen? We should just realize that, you know, we follow Him because He's the bread of life, not because we want something from Him. Amen? So let us not settle for anything less. Amen? Huwag tayong makontento lamang doon sa mga maliliit na bagay sapagkat may mas dakilang bagay na binibigay ang Panginoon. Ituloy po natin. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa kanina sa John 6.53. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise them up to the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate manna and they died. But whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. This is a metaphor, an analogy of Jesus Christ being the bread of life. Analogy po ito, hindi literal. Kaya kapag tayo po ay uh, nasa mga ating mga relisyon, uh, meron po tayong seremonya na kung saan kinakain yung uh, ostya, kinakain yung tinapay, at uh, nagiging katawan daw ni Kristo yun. Katawan ni Kristo. Ang dugo ni Kristo, iniinom nila. Pero hindi po yun literal. Kundi magiging aswang po tayo at mga vampira kumakain tayo ng mga dugo, kumakain tayo ng flesh, ng laman. That's cannibalism. But this is a metaphor because God wants us to, to realize that He is saying, My child, I am the bread of life. I am God, the Son incarnate. I came down to earth and I offered my body, my flesh and blood on the cross to pay for the penalty of your sins. That you if you eat this bread and that if you drink this blood, that means kapag ikaw ay nagtiwala na nampalataya sa ginawa ng Panginoon sa krus ng Kalbaryo at nag-alay ng buhay at kapag iyong uh, ininom ang dugo na ibig sabihin magpapahubas, magpapahugas ka sa dugo ng Panginoon, magkakaroon ka ng buhay na walang hanggan. Eternal life. Amen? One day, We, kung hindi pa tayo mararapture, uh, marahil isang araw at ikaw ay uh, malalagutan ng hininga. Ang tanong ay, eh, saan ka pupunta? Amen? Pinagpalit mo ba yung relasyon mo kay Jesus sa mga bagay na ino-offer ng mundo? Na temporary? Na corruptible? Na superficial? Mababaw? So that in the end, you find yourself miserable. What you worship more than God will come and get you. In the end, it will let you down. Amen? Certainly. So, the bread of life is Jesus Christ. And it is Him whom He wants us to... It is Him that we should accept in our lives. Amen? Wag ka... Hindi ko sinasabing uh, magpakatamad ka at huwag ka na magtrabaho para hindi ka mabless. But ang sinasabi ko, higit sa mga bagay na tinatamasa or uh, pinuporso mo ngayon, ang kailangan mo ay si Jesus. You need Jesus in your life. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. Today, what is the bread in your life? that you like this bread so much, you pursue this bread so much, you follow this bread so much in exchange of the true bread of life who is the Lord Jesus Christ. Nabubulok, napapanis, nawawala, umaasim, nawawala ng lasa. Anong pipiliin mo? Anong pipiliin mo? Who will you choose? What will you choose in your life? What are you after in life? Ano bang pinagmamalaki mo? Ano bang pinaglalaban mo? Ano ba ang uh, gustong-gusto mong marating sa buhay mo? What is the bread that you are after in life? What is it that you are following? These people were following Jesus with the wrong motives in their hearts. That's why the Lord has to deal with them. 
the Lord has to brutally tell them, hindi ka after sa akin, after ka sa tinapay. At sa buhay natin, tinatanong tayo ng Panginoon, ano ang ating pinapahalagahan? Ano ang ating mga tinapay na iniingatan, minamahal, pinagkaka, uh, pinagkakanulo natin ng ating Panginoon? But all of these are nothing because they will make you want for something more. Naka, nakatikim na ba kayo ng isang uh, masarap na pagkain? Di ba gustong-gusto mo? Gustong-gusto mo yung pagkain yon. So, ang gagawin mo, babalikan mo at babalikan because it will never satisfy you until you get it again. You know, sa buhay natin, ganun, akala mo, narating mo na yung gusto mo, nakarelasyon mo na yung gusto mong lalaki, nakarelasyon mo na yung gusto mong babae, iniwanan mo na yung pamilya mo. Amen? At uh, nagawa mo na yung gusto mo. Pero isang araw, mararam, mararamdaman mo may hinahanap ka pa rin. You are still looking for that relationship, attention, care. Because I tell you, beloved, this will never satisfy you. It is only Jesus who can satisfy your life. In your endless pursuit of things that will satisfy you, you will fail. I tell you, beloved. So, you pursue Jesus, the true bread of life. You accept Jesus in your life. And if you do that, you will never be hungry. You will never be thirsty. You will not lack anything. Because the Lord is saying, I will satisfy you. Jesus is the answer to the longing of our hearts. Jesus is the answer to our prayers, to our desires. Jesus is the answer to our physical Uh, situation. Ano man ang uh, dinadanas natin ngayon, tayo man ay nakakaranas ng sakit karamdaman na nagpapahirap sa atin, si Jesus ang katugunan. Na mata- ang sabi ng Panginoon, I came down from heaven. Your, your ancestors in the Old Testament, they received manna. Moses gave them manna and quail. But they, they ended up dead as well. But whoever believes in me, the Lord is saying, will have eternal life. Yet you die, you live again. Amen? Mamamatay ka man, ikaw ay uh, magre-resurrect muli kasama ang Panginoon. Amen? People die. Kahit presidente ka, mamamatay ka. Amen? Kahit bilyonaryo ka, mamamatay ka. Lahat ng bagay ay may katapusan. Pero ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, ako ang tinapay ng buhay. Sino man ang magtiwala sa akin ay hindi na magugutom pa bagkus ang lahat ay matutuganan sa buhay niya. Meron ka bang tinapay na pinuporsu? Meron ka bang tinapay na gustong gusto? Amen? You give up that kind of bread and accept the true bread of life who is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? At kung ang tinapay na itong naging dahilan para malayo ka sa Diyos, mawala ka sa Diyos. Amen. Whatever it is. Whatever it is that is the bread in your life. Maybe it's pride. Maybe it's, uh, you know, meron kang tampo, hinanakit, galit, sama ng loob. Ito ay bagay na naglayo sa iyo sa Panginoon or naglalayo sa iyo sa Panginoon. Ano man ito, isuko mo sa Diyos. Isuko mo sa Diyos at itama mo ang puso mo. Amen. Jesus Christ, when the people were following Him, hindi po siya nangiming ituwid, i-rebuke, sabihin sa mga tao, you are following me not because of the sign, you are following me because of the bread. Because you were filled. At marami pong mga tao, mahal nila ang kanilang mga tiyan, mahal nila ang kanilang mga flesh. They want to satisfy the desires of their flesh. And they are willing to sacrifice their relationship with God just to be able to satisfy the flesh which is very wrong. And so now the Lord is talking to you, speaking to you. Likewise, the Lord is giving you this warning. You are following me. You say you're Christian pero mahal na mahal mong sarili mo. Sinasabi mong ikaw ay Kristiyano, sumusunod ka sa akin 
pero mahal na mahal mo ang pamilya mo. Sinasabi mong ikaw ay kristyano, mahal mo ako, pero mas mahal mo ang pera mo. Mas mahal mo ang oras mo, mas mahal mo ang pamilya mo, at kaya mo akong ipagpalit. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon sa mga taong ito. And it is the same message that God wants us. Let us not settle for anything less. Let us settle for the best. Let us have Jesus in our lives. Let us desire Him in our lives more than anything else. Amen? Tayo pong lahat ay yumuko. Kapatid, ano ang tinapay sa buhay mo na kaya mong ipagpalit ang Panginoon? Ano ang tinapay sa buhay mo na nais mong makamit, nais mong mangyari at maganap? na ito ay iyong, you consider is the most important thing in your life. It is the most important thing in your life that you are willing to give up your calling, your relationship to God, and your worship to God. Kapatid, tingnan mo ang puso't isip mo sa harapan ng Diyos. Tinatanong ka ng Panginoon, bakit ka sumusunod sa akin? Bakit ka naglilingkod sa akin? Bakit mo sinasabing tagasunod kita, alagad kita, anak kita? Bakit? What do you want from me? nawa huwag kang masumpungan ng Panginoon na kagaya ng mga sumusunod sa Kanya noong unang panahon. Sinusundan siya kung saan man siya magpunta sapagkat ang nais sa Kanya ay mga pagpapala. They want blessing from Him. They want what Jesus can give them. They want the bread. The bread that is corruptible. The bread that can be spoiled. The bread that is temporal. Likewise, in our lives, we have so many kinds of bread in our life that are temporary, that are corruptible, that are nothing and unimportant. But we make them very important. We desire them. We are consumed by this desire in our lives. What do you want most in life, brethren? Mahal mo ba ang Panginoon? o mas mahal mo ang anak mo? Mahal mo ba ang Panginoon o mas mahal mo ang asawa mo? Mahal mo ba ang Panginoon o mas mahal mo ang negosyo mo? Mahal mo ba ang Panginoon o mas mahal mo ang pera? Hayaan mong ikaw ay kausapin ng Diyos. Let Jesus probe your heart. Let Jesus probe your motives. Let Jesus probe your agenda. At kapag dinil ka ng Panginoon, pwede pa huwag kang magalit. Huwag kang gumaya sa mga unang hudyo noong unang panahon. Nung kinakausap sila ng Panginoon, hindi nila maunawaan, nagalit sila, nag-argue sila. They grumbled, nagbulong-bulungan sila. Sa halip na aminin, Panginoon, nagkamali ako ng pagkakakilala sa iyo. Mali ang motibo ko. Mali ang puso ko. Sa halip na maghampol ako, nagagalit ako at punong-puno ako ng pride. Jesus Christ says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me 
will never go hungry. And so if you do not accept Jesus in your heart, you will forever be hungry. You will look for love, attention, and satisfaction in people, in places, in events and objects. But all of these things will never be able to satisfy the longings and desires of your heart. And so today, the Lord is asking you, what do you most, what do you want most in life? What do you desire the most in life? Anong inihingi mo? Anong inihiling mo? Anong minimithi mo sa buhay? Ang sabi ng Panginoon, ako ang tinapay ng buhay. Ako ang mithiin mo. Ako ang hanapin mo. Ako ang tanggapin mo. Pag ginawa mo ito, hindi ka na muling magugutom pa. Hindi ka na muling maghahanap pa. Hindi ka na muling mauuhaw pa. Hindi mo na hanapin ang alkohol, ang droga, ang mga maling relasyon. Ang tawag ng laman, hindi mo na muling hahanapin pa. Kapatid, gusto mo ba ng isang bagay na magpasawalang hanggan? Hindi lamang mga bagay na nasisira, napapanis, nawawala, napaparam, temporary. Ito na ang oras at pagkakataon. Itaas mo yung dalawang kamay patungo ng langit. Sabihin mo, Panginoon, patawarin mo ako sapagkat hinanap ko ang kaligayahan sa mga bagay ng mundo. Ng mundo. Patawarin mo ako sapagkat hinanap ko ang mga bagay na magpapaligaya sa akin sa droga, sa alkohol, sa pagsusugal, sa pangangapit sa mga immoral na relasyon. Patawarin mo ako kung hindi ako nagtiwala sa iyo. Patawarin mo ako kung hindi ko ipinakita ang commitment at katapatan ko sa iyo. Tinesting mo ako. Hindi ako nakapasa. And I'm going to try it hard You will not despise You will not despise You desire truth In the inward part A broken spirit and a contrite heart. Kung makasigaw ka na pakalagas, sinasabi mo I love you, Lord. Pero nung dumating ang testing ng buhay, hindi pa lang si Lord ang mahal mo, ang pera mo, ang negosyo mo, ang anak mo, ang asawa mo. At ngayon ay ina-expose ng Diyos ang puso mo, ang motibo mo, kagaya ng mga taong kinausap niya sa Juan sa Is. Sumusunod ka lang sa akin kasi meron akong binibigay sa iyo. Sumusunod ka lang sa akin kasi meron kang natatanggap. Pero kapag testing ng buhay, bigayan, Sakripisyo Tumatalikod ka na Kapatid Alam mong ikaw Ang kinakausap ng Diyos Inexpose ng Diyos Ang puso mo Sapagkat mahal ka niya Tinutuwid ka niya 
at nais niyang malaman mo na si Jesus lang ang tinapay ng buhay mo. Hindi ka magtatagumpay. Hindi ka lalago. Hindi ka mapopromote sa sarili mong lakas. Kahit na magpakamatay ka pa sa pagtatrabaho, gawin mong araw ang gabi-gabi ang araw, you will fail. Because the Lord is saying, I am the bread of life. It is I who will satisfy you. It is I who will bless you. It is I who will heal you. It is I who will prosper you. It is I who will bless you. You will love this place. You desire truth from the inward parts a broken spirit and a contrite heart Thank you Lord sapagkat ang aming mga puso Ama sa oras na ito'y basag na basag sa iyong harapan Umaamin kami sa aming mga pagkukulang kalabisan, sa aming mga pagsuway at hindi pakikinig sa iyong mga salita. Patawad po kung kami ay nagrebelde, nagpulong-pulong sa halip na makinig sa iyong mga salita. Patawad po, O oh Diyos. Forgive us for satisfying the callings of our flesh for indulging in alcohol, for indulging in drugs, for indulging in our pride and immoral relationships. Forgive us for not believing You, for not trusting You. Forgive us, Lord, for rebelling against You. Forgive us, O oh Lord God. Matawad po, Panginoon. Linisin mo po kami ng iyong manal-banal na dugo. At sa oras na ito, may marapatin mo kami sa iyong harapan. Patuloy mo kami bigyan ng basag na puso, pagpag na damdamin, bukas na isipan, upang ang mga salita mo ay aming matanggap at maunawaan na ikaw ang aming tinapay ng buhay. Wala lang kaming ibang nanaisin pa. Lord Jesus, come into our hearts. Lord Jesus, Come into our lives. We accept you as Lord, God, and Savior. Make us the kind of person you want me to be. Make me the kind of person you want me to be, Lord. Be sovereign. Break me. Melt me. Mold me. And make me the kind of servant you want me to be. Gawin mo kung karapat dapat sa iyong harapan, Panginoon. Gawin mo kung karapat dapat na lingkod mo, Ama. Patuloy mo ang iayos ang aking puso, ang aking motibo, ang aking buhay. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. At Lord, tunay ngang ikaw ang aming tinapay ng buhay. Lahat ng aming mga pangangailangan ay kaya mong tugunan. Nais mo kaming sumunod sa iyo sapagkat hindi dahil sa kaya mo kaming tugunan, kundi nais mo kaming sumunod sa iyo sapagkat ikaw ang aming Diyos, Panginoon at Tagapagligtas. Kaya naman ama, sa oras na ito, sino man pong nangangailangan ng Himala, kagalingan, pagpapala sa pangalan ni Yesus. Abutin mo, Ama, ng iyong mapagpalang kamay. Abutin mo ng iyong mapaghimalang kamay. Somebody is watching right now. You are asking God for a miracle in your life. You are asking God for a miracle in your life. And so the Lord is saying, My child, receive your miracle. 
Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Tanggapin mo ang himala. Dumadali ngayon sa iyong katawan mula ulong ng talampakan. Tinutunaw ng Panginoon ang lahat ng bukol. Inaayos ng Diyos ang mga abnormal sa iyong katawan mula ulong ng talampakan. Whatever it is that you need from God, yes! Just believe, receive in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The Lord says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. God wants to satisfy you. God wants to bless you. God wants to fill you. And so whatever you need from God, yes, receive in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Yes, the windows of heaven are open right now to bless you physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, materially yes just receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God from the top of your heads to the soles of your feet the power of God is just flowing right now the anointing that breaks the yoke is flowing right now in the name of Jesus and I bind and rebuke the condemnation and guilt of the devil upon your life in Jesus' name. Be set free in Jesus' name and receive the grace of God, the restoring power of God. Yes, God is restoring you right now. He has forgiven you and He is now restoring you. And hindi mo na muli pang babalikan ang mga gawa ng laman. Hindi mo na gawing babalikan ang mga makasalan ng gawa sapagkat ngayon ay binabanal ka ng Diyos. Pinapatawad ka at pinapalaya ng Panginoon. Yes, you are free from drugs. You are free from immoral relationship. You are free from sickness and disease. Even right now, the Lord is just restoring relationship. Working on your relationship. Yes, broken relationships are being healed by the Lord. Hallelujah. It is impossible with man. But it is possible with God. Inayos na ng Diyos ang mga puso't isip ng mga hindi nakakaunawa. The Lord is just subjecting everything under His sovereignty and power. That He is fixing people right now. Mga matitigas ang ulo. Mga hindi nakakaunawa, hindi nakakaintindi. Pinapanalangin mo, niluluhod mo, iniiyak mo sa Diyos. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon, binabago ko na ang kanilang mga puso't isipan. Yes, believe and thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, whatever you need from God. Hallelujah. The Lord is just pouring out His grace, His mercy, His blessing. Physical infirmities and diseases are being healed by the Lord. Relationships in families are being healed by the Lord, restored by God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, even right now, merong backslider na nakikinig. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon, huwag mo nang patagalin ang iyong backsliding. Come back to the fold, say it God. Come back to me, I am your bread of life. You will never find satisfaction in the world. For I am your bread of life, say it God. Come back to me, say it the Lord. And I will satisfy you and I will fill you. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Kung ano man ang hindi ko nabanggit, kaya kang tugunin ng Diyos, sabihin mo sa Kanya ngayon, Yes. Whatever is your personal desire, personal request, personal prayer, just give it to Him right now. Cast your care upon Him for He cares for you. All your anxieties, all your problems, all your struggles and difficulties, the Lord is able and willing to touch you and reach out to you right now and He is doing a great and wonderful thing. Yes, just tell it to God. 
And the Lord is answering you right now and granting the desires of your hearts. Thank you, Lord. And Lord God, you are the bread of life in our lives. We will never let go of that bread, O oh God. Ikaw ang aming tinapay ng buhay. At hindi na namin nahanapin pa ang kaligayahan sa ano pa man. Sa kung sino pa man. Pananatili kami, Panginoon, sa iyong presensya, sa iyong piling. At pananampalatayan na namin ang ginawa mo sa krus. Ang iyong kamatayan para sa aming kabayaran ng kasalanan. At hanggang sa huli, Panginoon, mananatili kaming tapat, nagmamahal, naglilingkod. We love you not because you can bless us, but we love you because you are our bread of life. We will never desire anything more. Thank you, Jesus. Seal us with the blood of the Lamb and keep us safe in your hands now and forever. What is it that we most that we want most in life? The bread of life. Our Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, let it be that that declaration, O God, be sealed with the blood of the Lamb, that it will forever and for eternity stand true. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give back to you all the glory, honor, and praise. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the bread of our lives, our Lord, our Savior, our Master, our Deliverer, the greatest love of our lives. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Napakaganda ng mensahe. Tama po ba? Isa muna pong malakas na palakpak para sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus. Amen. At tayo po ay dadako na po sa ating offering. Amen po ba? All we need is Jesus. Amen po. Si Lord lang talaga ang kailangan natin. But as we Christian, we must give our tithes and the offering. Tama po ba? Tama po ba? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. At yun niya, napakaganda ng mensahe, di po ba? Alam ng Lord ang heart natin eh. Wala tayong matatago sa Kanya. Amen po? Sabi ng Hebreo 4.13, Walang makapagtatago sa Diyos. Ang lahat ay hayag at lantad sa Kanyang paningin at sa Kanya tayo magsusulit. Amen. So, God knows our heart. And ano ang sabi ng Matthew 6.21? Kung nasaan ng ating puso, naruroon ang ating kayamanan. Amen po ba? So, dapat tayo mga Christian ay nagmamahal sa Diyos. Tama po, sabi ng Mateo 6.21? Kung mahal natin ng Lord, dapat nasa Kanya rin yung ating mga kayamanan. Amen? Tama? So, hindi natin ipagkakait ang ating tithes and offering. Kasi maliit na bagay pa lang yun. Ikasampung bahagi lang yun. Amen po. Ang sabi ng Proverbs 10.22, ang pagpapala ni Yahweh ay ang pagpapala ni Yahweh ay kayamanan na walang kasamang kabalisahan. Amen po. So, alam na natin, amen, we, we give our tithes and offering hindi lamang po para sa blessing. We give our tithes and offering because we love God and we, we put our treasures to Him kasi we love God. Amen, dahil yun daw po ang tama. 
Amen. At sinabi ng Proverbs na ang pagpapala ni Yahweh ay kayamanang walang kasamang kabalisahan. Hindi tayo nag-aalala sa mga bagay-bagay. Kasi so alam natin na sinusunod natin ng Lord, ginagawa natin ng kalooban niya, mahal natin ng Lord, ginagawa natin na tayo ay nagbibigay ng, ng ating ikapo, first fruits ng ating offering. So, ang Lord ang bahala lahat ng ating mga pangangailangan, Mateo 6.33. Amen? Ibibigay ng Lord ang lahat ng ating pangangailangan, uunahin lamang natin ang kanyang kaharian at ang kanyang katwiran. Amen po ba? So, wala tayong dapat ipag-alala sa ating buhay. Eh. Amen po? We only need Jesus. Amen. At gusto ko pa pong i-share sa inyo mga kapatid. Ang Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Deutero, sorry, Deuteronomy, <laughs> Deuteronomy 8.17. Kaya huwag ninyong isa sa loob na ang kayamanan ninyong bunga na, na ang kayamanan ninyo'y bunga ng sariling lakas at kakayahan. Alalahanin ninyong siya ang nagbibigay sa inyo ng lakas upang managana kayo. At ito'y bilang pagtupad niya sa kanyang pangako sa inyong mga ninuno. Kapag siya tinalikdan ninyo at sumamba kayo sa Diyos Diyosan, Diyos Diyosan, kayo'y malilipol. Ah, I mean, sorry. Ngayon pa'y sinasabi kong malilipol kayo balang araw. Kung hindi ninyo diringgin ang kanyang tinig, malilipol kayo tulad ng nangyari sa mga bansang ipinalipol sa inyo ni Yahweh. Amen po. So alam natin na ang lahat ng bagay ng meron tayo, na nagkaroon tayo, it's, hindi ito sa ating kakayahan. Amen? Ako, talaga nagpapasalamat ako sa Lord eh. Nagagawa ko maraming bagay. Multitask ako everyday. Start Monday to Saturday, multitask po ako sa tindahan. Kami mag-asawa. And I thank God kasi uh, nagkakatulong-tulong kami ng mga anak ko kami mag-asawa, na nagagawa, nakukumpleto, walang kulang, at malalakas ang aming mga katawan. Amen? At the same time, nagpapatuloy po ang aming hanap buhay. Nagpapatuloy ang lahat. Amen? Nagpapatuloy na nabubuhay, ng mainam, ng masagana. Amen? So, thank you Lord, kasi... Siya lang talaga ang ating kailangan sa ating mga buhay. Wala pong iba tayong kailangan kung di si Jesus. Wala po tayong dapat isipin sa mga sarili natin na tayo malakas, na tayo ang may kagagawa ng mga bagay na to kung hindi dahil sa ating mga sipag at syaga, ay hindi magagawa. Huwag po nating sabihin yon. Makam- nakamtan po natin ng maraming bagay, ang maraming pagpapala, kasi awat habag lamang po yan ng Diyos sa atin. Amen? Amen po ba? Ako'y um, natutuwa kasi um, nasharean ko yung, yung aking borders dahil napakasipag niya, nag-aaral, nagninegosyo, pero ipinaalala ko rin po sa kanya itong verse na to na hindi masama ang lahat ng bagay na magaganda na makamit natin ang, ang kayamanan, ang maraming blessing, ang tagumpay sa pag-aaral, ang maraming honors. Hindi masama ang lahat ng iyan. Pero dapat meron tayong time, meron tayong pagmamahal sa Diyos. Amen? Dapat kilala natin kung sino ang pinagmulan ng lahat ng iyan. We must, we must worship our God, our Creator, hindi hindi tayo mani, hindi tayo magsabi na it's because it's because of our own selves. Tama po ba? Sasabihin natin ang mga bagay na to na tayo ay nagtagumpay, tayo ay nanagana, tayo ay malakas, tayo ay ligtas, tayo ay um, um, tagumpay, tayo ay mabuti kasi si Lord yan sa buhay natin. Amen po. At alam nga ng Lord ang mga puso natin. Kaya dapat tayo po ay nag-iipon ng kayamanan sa Diyos. At hindi sa ating mga sarili lamang. Amen! Tayo po ay magbigay ng ating ikapo at handog dahil ito po ang dapat bilang kresyano. Amen po ba? Sa, sa, sa mga buhay natin bilang kresyano, ito ay parte na ng ating uh, buhay. Tama po ba? Na 
every, every time we worship our God, we praise our God, tayo po ay nagbibigay ng ating ikapu at handog. Amen. At alam naman natin, ng lahat ng ating ibinibigay ay hindi po ito nawawala ng kabuluhan. Amen po. Salamat talaga sa Lord kasi talagang malakas kami. Amen. Sa kabila ng multitask kami everyday ng asawa ko, pero nananatili kaming walang sakit, malakas at pinagpala. So ang bawat isa po ay magbigay ng ating ikapu at handog. At sa atin pong pagbibigay ng mga, ng mga ito ay huwag din po natin kakalimutan palagi. Isama na rin po natin ang mga lingkod ng Diyos. Amen? Dapat lagi sila ay extension na nga po ng ating pamilya. Tama po ba? Sila ay karugtong na ng mga buhay natin. Kaya kung ano ang meron tayo, dapat meron din sila. Amen po ba? Um, lagi natin silang uh, minamahal, lagi natin silang inaalala, lalo na kung meron tayong mga bagay na, di ba, pagka, uy, ang ganda nito, medyo mahalaga ito, di ba, parang ang unang na naalala natin yung mga lingkod ng Diyos. Gusto natin maibigay ito sa kanila kasi bakit mahal natin sila. Amen? At ang kanilang pamilya. So pagkat mahal din nila tayo, so tayo ay nagmamahalan. Amen? at nagbibigayan. So maraming maraming salamat sa Panginoon. Atin pong ipanalangin ng ating mga ibinigay, ang, at, ang ating ibibigay pa. Dakilan Diyos na makapangyarihan, Lord, alam po namin ng lahat ng meron kami, Panginoon, ito po ay nagmula sa iyo at patuloy, Lord, na ikaw ang magbibigay sa amin ng lahat ng aming mga pangangailangan, Panginoon. Kung kami lamang, Panginoon, ay susunod lamang sa iyo at gagawin ng kalooban mo. Father God, marami marami pong salamat sa patuloy na biyaya na ipinagkakaloob mo sa amin ang aming kalakasan, physically, mentally, spiritually, Lord. Marami marami salamat sa iyo. Ikaw ito po, Panginoon, sa aming buhay. At magpapatuloy ka eh. Magpapatuloy kang mabuti, Panginoon, sa aming buhay. Father God, I pray na ang bawat nakikinig ng mga salita mo, Panginoon, saan man nakakarating ang, ang mga mensahe mo, O Diyos, ay maging kabahagi, Panginoon, ng gawain ito. Maibigay din nila, Panginoon, ang kanilang first fruits. Maibigay rin nila, Panginoon, ang kanilang tithes and offering, love gift. At kung ano pa po, Panginoon, ang hinihingi mo sa kanila, huwag nila itong baliwalain, pagkos, Panginoon. Buong puso nila itong ibigay sa iyo, Panginoon. Hallelujah sa pangalan ni Jesus. Father God, Lord, patuloy mo kaming pasaganain sa aming mga buhay at patuloy, Lord, na maibalik namin sa iyo, Panginoon, ang nararapat naming maibalik higit pa po, Panginoon, kaysa sa dati, Panginoon. Father God, patuloy kang uh, mag-provide ng lahat ng needs ng bawat isa, Panginoon, ng tuition fee ng mga bata, ng mga nag-aaral, Lord. Ikaw po ang patuloy na gumabay sa amin sa, ma sa mga ginagawa namin, Lord, dahil, Panginoon, apart from you, wala po kaming magagawa, Panginoon. Kaya we need you more, Father God. Kailangan, kailangan ka namin sa aming mga buhay. At kami nagpapasalamat sa iyo, Panginoon, sapagkat alam namin, Panginoon, na tinutugon mo po ang aming mga panalangin sa araw-araw, Panginoon. Lord, ano man, Panginoon, ang, ang malikom ng iglesia ito, Panginoon, ay magamit, Panginoon, sa ikaliligtas pa ng maraming kaluluwa, magamit, Panginoon, para sa ikaluluwalhati ng iyong dakilang pangalan lamang, Panginoon. Lord, marami marami salamat. I-multiply po po ang mga pera, Panginoon, na malilikom. At magpatuloy, Panginoon, kami na umaasa sa iyo, nagtitiwala, at nagbibigay, Panginoon. Patuloy na ginagawa ang kalooban mo. Marami marami salamat, Ama, sa iyo po namin ibinibigay ang lahat ng pagsamba, papuri at pagdakila sa aming Panginoon na si Jesus. Amen at Amen. Amen. At bago po tayo dumako sa ating pangwakas na panalangin ay tayo po muna ay atin po muna ang ideklara ang katagumpayan ng ating Panginoon. Ag 
Sige po, tayo pong lahat ay tumayo at ideklara ang katagumpayan ng gawain nito. Tayo po ay dadako sa pangwakas na panalangin. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil muli namin naramdaman ang iyong presensya at naranasan muli namin, Panginoon, ang iyong pag-ibig at pagsama, Panginoon. At patuloy, O Diyos, na uh, naipasok sa aming puso at patuloy, O God, na may isa buhay namin, O God. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil sa aral at turo mo, patuloy kaming lumalim, O Diyos. At patuloy, O Diyos, hallelujah na kami. Ay maglilingkod dahil mahal ka namin, hindi sa mga material na bagay, Panginoon. Lord, salamat, Panginoon, sa araw na to Panginoon. Dahil muling tagumpay ang iyong pangalan, O Lord, ang iyong gawain. At Patuloy, O God, na nagpapasalamat kami dahil tagumpay din kami, Panginoon, sa lahat ng mga pagsubok na pinagdaanan namin. Patuloy kaming tumatag-tumibay, Panginoon, at patuloy pang Panginoon 
Sumunod sa iyong kalooban, magbahagi ng iyong salita, magligtas ng maraming kaluluwa, O Diyos. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa, sa ginamit mo, Panginoon. Patuloy na pagpalain mo ang kanyang buhay at patuloy, O Diyos, na ibigay mo ang lahat nilang mga pangangailangan, O Lord. Mga pang-tuition, Panginoon, ng kanyang tatlong anak, Lord, at karunungan, Panginoon, ay patuloy na sumasama sa kanila. Kaya po wala po kaming sawang purihin ka, sambahin ka, Panginoon, at pasalamatan sa aming buhay. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil tagumpay kami sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen!